I know a commander's map when I see one. Each of those marks matches a location mentioned in the communique from Rada al Saran, the leader of the Grey Host. I can already see where we need to go. That mark on the northwest coast, that's an Ice Reach Coven camp. The communique mentioned needing more medallions. Odds are, they come from there. And here, a Midland camp between Dragonbridge and Morthal. It's a staging ground for the Harrow Storms. More than likely. Those two locations should provide what Fen needs to finish his elixir. We can't bet everything on that, though. The communique mentions a warlord's camp in Blackreach. Maybe we can learn more about their ultimate plan there. Svana, Fen, and I will divvy up the camps and scout ahead. Fen should investigate the coastal camp. I'll take the Midlands camp. That leaves Svana with Blackreach. Meet up with each of us when you're ready. Then we'll hit each camp in turn. We don't have a lot of solid details, just what we've pieced together from the Grey Host's notes and communique. But I'll answer your questions the best I can. Which camp did you want to ask about? The Grey Host isn't just hiding in Blackreach now. They're mounting an invasion, and this appears to be their primary staging ground. I expect they're stockpiling witch pikes, grey reliquaries, and other supplies here, including the refined brew. From what I can tell, the camp on the northwest coast is where the Coven first made landfall from Ice Reach. It's as close to a home base as they've got. They've established themselves there, so I'd expect it to be well defended if not fortified. The communique mentioned orders to produce more of those medallions, probably to keep pace with the increase in Harrow Storms. I can't guarantee this is the coastal camp where the orders were sent, but it's the only one on the map. What is it? A fascinating application of the technique.
Good. I was hoping you'd show up. Lyris was right. This camp is crawling with the Ice Reach Coven, and they're definitely producing the medallions here. I was even able to slip away with one. We need to get closer, though. There's more to figuring out this magic than just watching from afar. I need to know exactly how they go about creating them. With your help, we can learn everything about that here in this camp. It's a landing site for the boats coming from the island of Ice Reach. Plus, they're collecting something here that goes into the process of creating the medallions. If you can get me to the center of the camp, I can learn what that is. Determining how they create these medallions will be an enormous help. The Grey Host has accelerated their plans. They need more medallions for a reason. A big harrow storm is coming. We need to be ready. Because the Grey Host is guarding something. Corpses? What do they have to do with the medallions? Let's examine the nearby graveyard. Examine the headstones. Let's determine what's so special about the exhumed bodies.
Examine the headstones and see what you can make out. The graveyard. The Ice Reach Coven certainly enjoy defiling graves. They exhumed some of the bodies buried here, but not all of them. The ones they dug up must be important to the creation of the medallions. We need to learn why. Obviously, the bodies are already gone. All that remains are the headstones. Maybe they'll provide a clue as to why those particular corpses were exhumed. And maybe that will tell me something about the process used to create the medallions. Finished? Have you come to any conclusions? Well, we've both been over the headstones with a fine-toothed comb. If we can determine why the Coven dug up these particular bodies, it will tell us something about how the medallions were enchanted. Of course. Compare notes and look for commonalities. You have the makings of a fine scholar, my friend. Now, let's see. I noticed there were a mix of different races buried here. They weren't all Nords. Anything strike you about the departed? Really? What was that? Which headstones did you examine? I read about laborers, soldiers, and traders. Of course. Compare notes and look for commonalities. You have the makings of a fine skull. They did. Tell me more. Of course. Why didn't I see that? The headstones on the exhumed graves all mentioned that the person was old when they died. Let me think. Some necrotic spells require the remains of the elderly. Something to do with the natural decay of life. According to one necromantic theory, the older a living thing becomes, the more necrotic energy it naturally acquires. As a body grows old and withers, the life inside it decays. Necrotic energy is the byproduct of this deterioration. I now know enough about how they create the medallions to move my research along. I'll return to the Blue Palace and start putting an elixir together. To fully craft an elixir to defend against the Hera storms, I still require a sample of refined netherroot brew. Plus, we need to determine what the Grey Host has planned. Help Lyris and Svana at the other camps. Then meet me at the Blue Palace.
That caravan. It should have arrived by now. Just arrived. Don't worry. A bold move setting up camp in the midst of the Western Holds. I'll say this for the Grey Host. They aren't afraid to draw attention to themselves. I learned a few things while I was waiting for you to show up. It's just as we thought. The Grey Host is using this camp as a supply depot for their raids across the countryside. I saw stacks of witch pikes, rows of reliquaries, and jars of what I assume is the refined netherroot brew. Right. And I heard the camp leader, a nasty creature named Sableye, tell his troops to make sure to use the new supply that just arrived from Blackreach. Let's go grab a jar or two. No jars in this cart. Let's try another one. Not this card either. I hope we didn't miss it.
Stop them, my packmates. I'll get this brew to the witches. Sableye has the brew. Let's find him before he gets away. Talk over here. Luck was with us. If we had reached this camp even a few moments later, Sable I would have gotten away with the Netherroot brew. After all this trouble, Fen better be able to use it to make his elixir. I'll take the jar of refined netherroot brew to Solitude. We'll meet up in Svana's chambers when everyone gets back from their missions. I hope they're all right. Fen has proven himself, especially after what happened in Blackreach. House Ravenwatch, they're unusual as far as bloodsuckers go. As for Svana, she's braver than I originally thought. Anyway, meet me in Solitude after you finish up. In addition to the refined netherroot brew, Fen needs information on the Ice Reach Coven medallions. Plus, we're hoping to learn more about the big storm the Grey Host has planned. Help Fen and Svana at the other camps, then meet me in solitude. Glad to hear that worked out. With any luck, Fen will produce a working elixir in short order. Then we can stop worrying about the Harrow Storms and concentrate on defeating the Grey Host. Which reminds me, go to the Black Reach camp and aid Svana.
a dead soldier and no sign of our supplies.
damn these men. I came here to learn what the Grey Host has planned, and what did I find? Good citizens of the Holds, afflicted by the Harrow Storms and kept prisoner for some ungodly purpose. No matter how many I set free, the Herald will not leave this place. I came here to look. That's all I've been doing. And trying to get these afflicted people to leave this place. The Herald. The storm robs them of their will, their minds. I wasn't able to slip deeper into the camp, though. Agreed. There appear to be a number of Grey Host warlords in the camp, so discovering their plans should be possible. We need to be careful, though. I don't want us to wind up like the Herald, serving as food for these bastards. Messages have been coming and going since I arrived. I've heard the name Radha Al-Saran, the Ashen Lord spoken in hushed and revered tones. His name was on the communique you found, remember? We need to get down there and see what else we can learn. Hiding, building their forces, digging, undermining. That's the correct term, I think. Plus, they're collecting the Herald, herding them like cattle. It's monstrous what they're doing to these poor people. The only thing I'm sure of is I have to try. If my father won't act, then it falls on me to get things done. It's... it's what my mother would want me to do. There, on the left. Let's listen in. On the scaffold. Let's eavesdrop on those werewolves. Exarch Zingalis has fallen. I have never seen Radha El Saran, our Ashen Lord, so feel the sorrow or such rage. Does the loss of the Exarch alter our plans? Not in the least. The strike on Solitude will occur as planned after Exarch Ulfra tests the improved ritual in the undergrowth. An attack on Solitude? We need to move quickly.
I left the orders in my tent, but the Ashen Lord was clear. We need more Netherroot. See to the Undergrove immediately. As you command, Pintock. The Undergrove? That sounds important. The Grey Host definitely has something big planned. Let's search the tents for a copy of those orders. That's what we were looking for. Let's talk over there. Orders from Radha al Saran. His words and the chill down my spine. Their plan for solitude? It might even be more dreadful than an all-out attack. We need to get back and determine the exact location of this undergrove place. You saw what happened at Kilkreath and Karthwatch? Whatever they have planned for solitude, it sounds a whole lot worse. I wish we knew more about this Radha al Saran and what drives him. A family of monsters? Who could imagine vampires and werewolves working together? Let alone talking about one another like brothers and sisters. It's not natural. I'm glad I got to look around Blackreach, but I can't wait to see the sun and sky again. No matter how big these caverns are, it still feels like we're buried alive down here. We came down here to find out what the Grey Host has planned. But Fen still needs information about how the medallions are created, and a sample of the refined netherroot brew. Help Fen and Lyris at the other camps. Then meet me in Solitude. Then we're done here. I hope we found enough to end the threat of the Grey Host. I'll meet you back at the Blue Palace. Good luck, my friend.
So, do we have a way to defend against the Harrow Storms, or what? The Elixir should do what we need. Provided neither Fen nor I made any miscalculations. Yolin, don't be so negative. The Elixir will work. You'll see. Oh, good. You're back. Mjolin and I have been discussing the various ways to turn what we've got into a protective elixir. I'm hesitant to get too excited, but I think we've figured out how to defend against the Harrowstorms. The Grey Host uses an unstable mix of alchemy and sorcery to create the Harrowstorms. An arcane ritual and the Netherroot Brew focus the power of each Harrowstorm through the prepared Witch Pikes. Ingenious, but fully exploitable. We can use the refined brew as the basis of our elixir. Now that we understand how the Harrow Storms are created, we can use those same components to replicate the medallion's protective properties. We just need to gather the necessary components. Svana's associate, Mog, will procure most of the supplies I need. But there's one final ingredient required. For various reasons, I can't simply walk into the Hall of the Dead and claim it myself. I need you to acquire R.K.'s sacred oil. A holy ointment associated with a god that became popular due to imperial influence. It's used by the priests in the Hall of the Dead to provide protection against necromancy and the undead. We need that oil to create our elixir. You'll need my help. I'll meet you at the Hall of the Dead. Mog, put away the tankard and get the supplies Fen requires. Yes, your royal ladiness. But I'm keeping the tankard.